Hey everyone, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to this review video of the Hugo Boss Vela uh, Diver Watch Chronograph. I know it's part of the Hugo Boss uh, collection with a series of three watches, the Arrow, the Nomad and here the, the Vela. Um, you know the Vela, now as you can see it's a bit thick, but it's a real strong diver watch. It should be uh, 200 meters water resistance, uh, they say, 20 bars. Um, now I haven't tried it out, I'm not into diving, but uh, you know, if you like diving, uh, I guess this is a great watch, looks very firm, uh, it's kind of heavy, almost 200 grams, uh, you know, it's very firm and steady. Um, a lot of the questions at the unboxing video were about uh, the luminate uh, of the watch, how strong it is. Um, after my no intro talk, we will go to the close-up and then I also will darken the room and uh, you know, we'll see how well uh, it, the luminate effect uh, of this watch is. Um, and I uh, know I already tested a bit, I think it's very good for this watch, uh, small spoiler. But this watch also retails for around 540, 560 euros. Uh, you know, so you might expect, well, so you want to expect a lot from uh, a Hugo Boss watch in this price category, especially like the, the Grand Prix or some other models, probably between 250 and 450 euros. So it's like almost well 100 euros above it. Uh, the strap, I like the strap by the eye, how it opens you know, instead of the so it opens like two ways to get a bit used to to get it on properly. But, uh, I think it's uh, nicely done. I know we'll show it more in the, the close up. I like it's a bit thick and heavy, but you know that also means that people will notice it when you walk by. Uh, you know how you feel this watch now from this distance is also how people will feel it uh, when you walk by you when you wear this watch. Uh, going by the comments I received on the Umux videos, uh, it seems like a popular uh, model. Uh, for dive watch, it's very neat, very firm. Uh, I think it's great quality. And now let's get closer to the watch and see it from nearby. And I uh, will tell you my opinion about it. And I'll give you a nice close up looks. Uh, that will help you make a decision if you want to, to buy this watch uh, or not. Yeah, so let's we get a close up look of this Hugo Boss uh, Vela. You see the base it is very nice, a shiny, nice design. As you might expect from a brand like uh, Hugo Boss, uh, the strap is a bit interesting, I think, because you know normally it only goes like this, but this is like it goes in the split in half, two parts. I think it's very nice. Got a black Hugo Boss brand here on the side of the watch. You can also see it's a bit thicker here. Um, no, I actually want to try. So, like I told you, it's from the Hugo Boss, the collection, the Arrow Nomad and the, the Vela. Uh, you know, the Arrow, you know, pilot watch, I, I guess the, the name already says it. Nomad seems a bit more like outdoor field watch. And then the Vela is like the diver model. Should be water resistant up to 200 meter, uh, it says. Um, now, I'm not into diving, but uh, seeing how firm this watch is and the thickness, you know, um, it weighs almost 200 grams. Um, I think it's actually possible to go deep dive, sea diving with this watch. Yeah. So you also can see you now the, the, the arrow for the seconds is here in the middle. The big one here is for the, the chronograph function. As you can see, you know, it ticks nicely. And the upper, of course, for the mint, when the mint is best, this one will move. We will not wait that long. Click and reset. Oh. It's kind of interesting how quickly it uh, resets. You know, for the Hugo Boss Grand Prix, you know, it uh, just spins a bit more slower. This one click and pop, it's uh, back up again. It's a very nice looking watch, you know, my paint's a bit a bit too thick. I don't wear it. Yes. Isn't reset. Sorry, I still have the, the protective foil on it. And if I... So like you know I did it like the, the blue dial. And then I also put like the, the yellow details on it. Give the more uh, nicer look, you know, instead of one plain color. Um, also, of course, when you're, you're diving, you know, then uh, it's easier to see now uh, the yellow parts, I guess. Yeah. 
As you can see here also on the side, you know, there's the, the Boss logo. And also, of course, here on where you close the strap, uh, as usual, there's the, the Boss. So I moved now around because you know you some people ask does it wrinkle a lot? A bit, a bit, yes, you have with all these watches. So when I wear it, it's not that annoying, you know, it's not like Google Boss Grand Prix with the uh, squeaking uh, sound. It's a bit more worse. Uh, yeah, so for now, the most questions in the unbox video has been does it uh, the, about the Luminate, if it uh, how strong it is, if it's on it even. Uh, before this video, I tried to charge it up a bit, putting it on a, a, a light, you know, because of course you want to get the best effect there in the, the review video. So what I will now do is uh, I will darken this room and uh, hope to show you the Luminate effect uh, properly. So as you can see, I tried to make the room as dark as possible and you know, based on here, I think the Luminate is very good. But as you most know with most videos, it's a struggle to film <laughs> in the dark or in the night. So if you now go to the Luminate effect, you know, it looks uh, kind of weak if you look at it on my phone, maybe on YouTube it looks a bit better. So, you know, you might only see the arrows now, but you know, what you actually see also very well for me, it's a bit, a bit too small. Yeah, it's a bit too difficult to get it on the on the video. But you know, all the, you know, the, um, of the five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, it's all shining very brightly. It's you not know, for me, it's clearly visible. Um, also the boss letters uh, Luminate. So that's also a nice addition, so you know, when you're in the dark, you know, you can still see that you wear a, a Hugo Boss uh, watch. But let's see if I can... Uh. But it's a bit uh, of a challenge to show it properly in the dark, you know. And if I hold it up close, you know, you can see it illuminate uh, a bit. The Hugo Boss. Of course, I could uh, put on a uh, night mode on my phone and show that, you know, it will look more clear. But, uh, yeah, it's not... Also it makes it a bit too too light, so you cannot really have like the good luminate uh, polarization in the dark. But you know, you see the, the 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 arrows very properly on the video, and you know, trust me, you also see the boss video on it, uh, the boss logo. All right now, uh, let's lighten up the room and get back to the normal uh, review. Yeah, so we're back on uh, with the light here. Um, as soon as I turned off the camera, you know, in the dark of the room, I had an idea it's just uh, to make a photo of it. Um, you know, I will show it on the screen now of the Illuminate effect. Uh, I have two photos with the night uh, mode on of my phone. Yeah, you can really see pop out the parts that Illuminate. I um, also did a photo uh, in a normal uh, mode, uh, so you can see it a bit there. Um, yeah, for the video, you know, when it's too dark, you know, the camera has some problems, and I know of picking it up, uh, you know, the Illuminate effect. But I hope uh, the photos that will pop in the screen now uh, will give you a bit uh, of a better idea of it. So I hope uh, that helped out more than uh, the video part. Uh, let's now get back to the, the watch itself. Very nice, the bracelet is very nice uh, put together, nicely polished. There's already some fingerprints of me on it, as always. Yeah, you can see, you know, it's very nice, smooth design. You know, if, you, if you're really into diver watch, you want a good diver watch, uh, that will last a while. And also, you know, it can actually be worked for diving. Uh, I'll use, uh, I will get this one. You just, you know, the extra skews on the back to make it more firm and tight. If you have any questions about uh, this watch, you know, please uh, leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. And uh, also, you know, check out the unboxing video if you want to see how Hugo Boss delivers uh, this watch to you and uh, what you get for, you know, paying 540 euros for a watch. Uh, personally, uh, I would get more on a sale. You'll probably find it with like around 260 euros. I found one on the Zalando Lounge website, which is uh, used a lot in uh, Western Europe to get uh, nice prices. 
So for now, I say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in my uh, next video. If you have, uh, let's get some more close-ups for the thumbnail. It's really nice design. I like. I like really like you know with the, the blue uh, dial and then you know the white uh, marks on it. So it works out nicely. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you all uh, next time again.